Are you guys struggling with balancing your child's screen time and online safety? Let's explore Google's Family Link and see if it is the solution that us parents have been waiting for. Hi guys, welcome back to the FamilySafe channel. If you are really struggling with balancing your child's online safety or their screen time, and you're not really sure which app to use for your kids' devices, then today I'm going to help you out a little bit. We're gonna be talking about Google's Family Link app. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have figured out if Family Link is the app for you. So let's get into it. Setting up Google's Family Link is pretty straightforward, barely an inconvenience. If you're like me juggling a million things, you'll appreciate how simple it is. All Android phones are owned by Google, essentially, and they have had digital well-being pre-installed. Once you got the app from the Play Store and linked it to your kid's device, then you're pretty much good to go. But here's the catch. It's mostly tied to Google Chrome. In my house, we all use Chrome, so I figured that we're okay but we did hit a snag once our kids actually figured out that they can bypass the controls and they downloaded Firefox. And my son is only 11, but he's already figured it out. So you can expect similar with kids that are even older. Now, if your family uses a mixture of browsers from Firefox to Safari, then Family Link does not cover those at all. That's why I would recommend getting the FamilySafe app instead, as FamilySafe not only has all of these features, but also includes many other features that are not included with Google's basic controls, such as social apps detection, explicit content detection, TikTok history, and for teens, the brilliant driving report. It also monitors all browsers that are installed on the devices, including Chrome, but it's not limited just to Chrome. So that way you can monitor multiple browsers. Now I've got a link in the description below so you can go to our website and check it out for yourself and see if it's worth exploring, especially if you're after an all-in-one solution. And I think by the end of this video, you'll see why you need FamilySafe as well as, or instead of Google Family Link. But for now, back to Family Link. At its core, Family Link is Google's way of giving parents a bit of peace of mind when it comes to their kids' digital life. And here's the scoop on what it actually offers. Family Link's web filters are powered by Safe Search, which does a pretty solid job at scrubbing and cleaning the search results on Chrome. I gave it a bit of a try and sure enough, it kept the iffy stuff out of sight. Plus, you can whitelist your approved sites, ensuring your kids only visit the digital neighborhoods that you actually trust. However, like I said, not everything is rosy. If your kids are a bit tech savvy, they might find their way around the restrictions by clearing their browsing history or using a different browser altogether. And yeah, you have to play detective and check their activity by diving into the Google account settings since Family Link does not bring this straight to your dashboard. For those wanting more comprehensive filtering and direct access to browsing history, alternatives like FamilySafe have a, a bit more muscle and allow you to restrict content categories rather than just creating a whitelist. FamilySafe will also bring all of your kids' browsing history direct into the FamilySafe app for multiple browsers, not just for Chrome. Setting up device usage limits and downtime schedules with Family Link is very easy. You can fine-tune daily screen time and enforce device-free periods, ensuring that your kids aren't glued to their screens when they should be hitting the books or going to bed. Yet compared to other apps, Family Link's toolkit feels a bit basic. You can't set multiple downtimes or tailor restrictions as finely as you might want to. This doesn't give you as much of a freedom or control as you need in this area. Uh, here's where Family Link actually shines. The app lets you see all of the apps on your child's device, block them, or set time limits for each. You can even mark some apps as always allow so they don't eat into the daily screen time limit. The control over Google Play is excellent, as it should be, allowing you to filter content and manage purchases. Again, though, it's only on Google, which is a real shame. 
Family Links location tracking gives you a basic idea of where your kids are using their device's location. It also has a limited geofencing feature so you can receive an alert if your child leaves or arrives at an address. But the lowest distance they'll go to is 650 feet or 200 meters, which is double the distance of FamiSafe's geofencing. I really don't like the fact that it lacks a location history either, so I can't see where my kids have been. Comparing this feature on FamiSafe with Family Link, you can clearly see the differences. For the YouTube watchers, Family Link lets you limit access to YouTube Kids or set age-appropriate filters for the main YouTube platforms, which is really very handy and a great feature to have on hand. However, it's not foolproof and some unwanted content might actually slip through. Again though, the worst part of this feature is that in order to find the watch history, you have to open multiple windows to access it and get your kid's device to check it through. Considering YouTube is part of Google, you'd think that they would just simplify it. Getting a holistic view of your child's device activity with Family Link can feel like, like piecing together a puzzle. There's no dashboard, so the information is scattered and getting a complete picture requires a bit of an effort. You can go through and find most of it, but you'll need to wade through multiple menus. It's not very intuitive at all, and for busy parents, this is simply too much effort. It's almost like they don't really want you to have all of this information to hand. I kind of feel like someone who is not a parent made family link app because it's just so time consuming to find the info that you need without having the dashboard. It's a solid free option for basic parental control needs, especially app supervision. But if you're looking for more comprehensive web filtering, detailed activity reports, or a more robust supervision features, then you'll probably find its limitations a bit constraining. For those needs, pairing it with something like FamiSafe Parental Control App could give you a complete toolkit that you are actually after. And look, don't just take my word for it. Try both apps. See how, how they fit into your family's life and pick what works best for you. You know, FamiSafe is actually free to try on our website. So go there and try it. Now, let me know what you think about this video. Do you guys agree that Google Family Link is just too basic and confusing or do you love it? Leave me a comment and if you actually enjoy this, this video, then pop me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.